Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your daily reading for the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to see what messages are coming through for you guys. What is the overall energy for these next 24 to 48 hours and possible outcome? Um, another thing, guys, is that today we are starting our Mercury retrograde. So as you all know, it is bringing back exes, situations that have not been completed, things that you may not want to deal with will be coming back in. So we're going to focus on what is the energy that's coming towards you this next 24 to 48 hours. All right, guys. So before we get started here, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. If this reading resonated and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. Alrighty, here let's get started scorpio let's see what are the overall messages for my scorpios for the next 24 to 48 hours universe let's see here be bold and make the first move cardinal moon and what else universe one more please one more thank you and your hard work is paying off a new moon in capricorn all righty guys so i see some bold changes here some things that are getting ready to come towards you um, you've been working very, very hard to achieve something. Um, and now I feel that it is the time for you to make that bold move. Um, take that, that first initiative. Make the first move. Okay. It's time for you to pretty much complete calling in whatever it is that you've been trying to call into fruition. And see what is going on here with you. Okay. Your hard work is paying off. Let's see here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give Scorpio clear and concise messages. What's going on with Scorpio next 24 to 48 hours here? Let's see here. The Death in the Reverse and the Two of Pentacles. So there's definitely a situation here that hasn't been done. It's not completed with the Death in the Reverse. There's something still pending in the situation here. And with the Two of Pentacles, it's like you're not sure of what what steps to take moving forward in this situation it may be a little bit confusing here for you um for some of you guys what i'm really getting here this is a situation a relationship that that came to an end but there is still some things that are unsaid in this situation so with the two of pentacles you're unsure if you should communicate with this person to close out this cycle or accept any communication from this person to close out this cycle but there's something that's definitely pending here with your hard work is paying off um i feel that you're working really really hard to heal from a situation so it is time for you to take the first move here what else universe what else is going on with scorpio please yeah ace of wands so in the past there was a situation where um there was promises that were made with the ace of wands in the rivers and someone did not follow through with these promises with the death here there's a situation that um it's it's done to a certain extent though i mean you may not be talking to this person you may not have um any type of interaction with this individual but there is something still that has to be completed here in order for you to move away from this set this energy with the two of pentacles here it's you're kind of confused you're imbalanced you're not sure should i take that first move should i do should i communicate with this person how should i settle this thing out so there's some confusion here a little bit of instability but with the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands awesome if you choose to communicate with this individual and you choose to have this conversation that's still pending, you will be able to close out some karmic cycle here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you'll be able to move on to bigger and better things more abundant here. With the Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse, I feel that in the past it could have been some type of third party situation or somebody chose to disconnect emotionally from the connection with the King of Cups in the reverse. And with the Three of Pentacles also chose not to work on the connection anymore. I 
after a while of resting and rejuvenating, removing some blockages from your life, you have come to a decision where you need to finish and complete out a cycle with this individual. For some of you guys, there may be a pending divorce here or a pending sale of a home I just got, but there is something that needs to be completed and you don't and do want to talk to this person, but you know very well that you do need to reach out already because the more you hold on to this incomplete pattern, the more it's going to be harder for you to let go of the situation here. For some of you guys, you may have already come into union with someone else. You are in a stable situation. You're actually committed to this individual, maybe even engaged, but you are afraid to open up this past situation because there was a lot of heartache, a lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of false new beginnings here. You had a lot of love for this individual, but this individual with the King of Wands in the reverse chose to not commit to the connection chose to go a different direction and now that you are wanting to finalize a situation you're kind of nervous and afraid to to contact this person just because you don't want to deal with the with the situation anymore like i said for some of you guys you are already in a very stable committed situation you're with your soulmate and by you opening up the this door with this person you feel like it's going to bring in some instability in your current situation um, it is time for you to complete whatever is pending. Most definitely in this Mercury retrograde, you have to deal with what has not been completed from the past year, okay? Even though you have moved on and moved forward here with the Six of Swords, um, you still have to go back and close out that cycle here. So for those of you that are holding back from closing out a situation with an individual, it's time to be bold, baby. You worked for this. You've already followed all protocols. You may have even gotten to the point where the divorce is finalized. Now you just got to sell a home or, or close out some final documents. So it's time for you to, you know, put your big girl chonies on or your big boy chonies on and complete this process so you can move on and move forward in this commitment that you're in right now with the three of wands in the reverse i feel that this pending situation might not be allowing you to move on in your connection maybe you're wanting to purchase a new home with someone or you're wanting to get married to this person but because you're currently married to this other person it's not allowing you to be able to complete that process over here this is why you're being told you know <clears throat> be bold and make the first move reach out to this person tell them that this needs to end you need to complete a cycle and you need to be able to move on and move forward. I feel for a lot of you guys, you may be afraid that this person may retaliate and come in and cause you drama, cause you conflict. But truth be told, whatever this person chooses to do, um, you're able to move away from that situation with the Six of Cups here. This person may even try to come in and reconcile with you. See, this past person that you may have to still continue talking to here or deal with something with this person, they're going to try to reconcile with you because they see you in this other committed energy. So this is what you're afraid of is that if you open up to this person, um, they're going to try to win you over. They're going to cause you some type of conflict in your current connection. But at the end of the day, you already know where you're happy and who you're happy with. <clears throat> so you can continue moving on and moving forward. You don't have to accept this person's offer, obviously. What is the outcome here between my Scorpio and this person universe? The moon in the reverse, okay? So guys, I feel that somebody is afraid here to reach out to the ex to finalize a cycle. It's something you have to deal with in order for you to move on and move forward. It's time for you to close out this cycle with this individual. <clears throat> Even though this person may try to play this card of, oh, I want to reconcile with you. We have kids together. Let's work on this connection. You have free will and you can choose to be with whomever it is that you choose to be. Final messages here, universe. Yeah, two of swords. Decision time, baby. So yeah, you may have to de decide between two people here, which is the past and the new. All right. Um, and I feel that you're afraid to open up this can of worms with this person because you just don't want to deal with them anymore. But in order for you to be able to move on in this situation with this new person and possibly even um, get married to this person or do something, you must finalize what's going on over here. So yes, in this Mercury retrograde, guys, I am here to tell you that, yep, there's going to be a next back in the picture. You're going to have to make some decisive decisions in order to close out a cycle with this individual so you can be able to move on and move forward with your new love here. Universe. Final advice here for my Scorpios, please. Final advice for my Scorpios, please. What advice do we have for Scorpio here? The loss in the reverse. So guys, I feel that your past person is going to be in this energy where they know that they lost you because um, they were deceptive, because they were mean, because they were... Um, 
a cheater, whatever it was, okay? This person is going to try their hardest to increase the energy here with you, to try to come back towards you. They're even going to play this fragmented card here where they're trying to tell you, oh, I'm so lost without you. My world is incomplete without you. Please give me another chance. Like They're going to try to get you to, to see that they're going through a lot of emotional upheaval. But you, my beautiful Scorpio, you are already in a new supportive, um, committed relationship. Here it goes, commitment. Okay, so you need to gather up your strength, your courage, and really open up to this person and let them know that you need to finalize something because you have creative endeavors coming towards you. You're taking the steps to achieve your happiness. So you need to open up already and finalize the situation. Pretty much gather up the strength, the courage to contact this person so you can complete this, this part of your life so you can close out the cycle and really allow your happiness that's getting ready to come through for you okay all right guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed please don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification bell and if you want to book a personal the info is in the description box below i'll talk to you soon bye